Another simple recipe to use loads of lemons. I'm going to show you how to do lemon and almond tart. For this recipe, I'm using an almond based crust. For this, I'm using quarter a cup or 30 grams almond meal and one third of a cup sugar, about 50 grams and two tablespoons iced water with one and a quarter a cup or 185 grams plain flour, 125 grams butter. It's very cold, directly out from the fridge and one egg yolk and a teaspoon of vanilla. So let's start. This is very simple and easy. Before doing that, you need to cut the butter into small chunks. You can hand knead this without a problem, but I'm going to use the food processor. Into the food processor, add the sugar and the almond meal. And into that, add the chopped butter. And then the egg yolk and a teaspoon vanilla. And then the flour. Without mixing it, you need to pulse it. When you do this way, it cuts the butter and mixes well. Now into that, add two tablespoons iced water. And after doing that, see it becomes crumbly like this. This is the texture that we need to do. There are a little bit of pieces, so I'm going to do a few pulses. And now it's ready. Look at the texture. That's really beautiful. Now take it out. Now put it on to a pastry mat or onto the bench top. Press. And going to leave it in the fridge. Actually, the weather is very colder here, so it will stay like this without any problem. If you are living in a warmer climate, you need to put this in the fridge about half an hour. So I'm going to wrap anyway and leave it in the fridge a few minutes. Now let's do the filling ingredients. For this, I'm using about two-third a cup of pouring cream and lemons to get one third a cup of lemon juice or 80 milliliters lemon juice, four eggs and half a cup of sugar with a teaspoon of vanilla. First, we need to get the rind. So I'm going to grate. And when you grate it, make sure that you don't get the white part. It's bitter. So only the outer side. So leave the rind aside and get the juice to make 80 milliliters. Oh, I'm going to do the tart. I have this 24 inch loose base flan tray and it's about two centimeters deep. Now I'm going to put this on a baking sheet and cover with another baking sheet. Press and roll this to cover this tray. Now when you do this, make sure that it has 24 centimeters and another two to the outer side, but you can still stretch it out. Now I think it's okay. Take the top sheet out. Onto the pan. Starting from one end. Like this. I'm going to use my baking paper as the tray is a bit older. After. Put this back again in the fridge as our body temperature melts the butter. 
So it can stay in the fridge for a while and let's do the next part. Now let's do the next step. If it is ready and cool enough to handle, press well and put a baking paper on top. I'm using the same baking paper that I used and then add the baking beans or the weights. If you don't have them, you can use rice instead or beans. So press and this goes to the oven, 180 Celsius, about 15 minutes. I added the lemon, eggs, vanilla and the sugar into a bowl and just mixed it to mix them together. And I'm going to add the whipping cream later. So I'm waiting for the pastry to come out from the oven. After blind baking the pastry, take the weights out and then bake back again another 5-10 minutes. After baking about 10 minutes, it will look like this and it settles. And take the mixture that you did before and into that add the whipping cream and mix. Pour it into the tart base. And bake this on 180 Celsius, about 20 minutes or until it sets. So I finished baking the tart and this is how it is. So once you touch and it's not coming onto your fingers. So I'm going to leave this in the fridge about half an hour or one hour. Then I'll cut it and show you how it is. Or you can leave it overnight. I left the lemon tart in the fridge overnight. So let's take it out and see how it is. And this is a really simple, easy recipe and you can do it the day before and serve it with cream or ice cream and hope you will enjoy. See you next time.